So for this video today is one that I sort of took off an idea that I saw online in terms of hitting uh, effective reps. Now what I mean by effective reps is when you start doing a bench press for example or even squats, you can usually smash out 12, 10 or 12 um, reps quite convincingly. Some call it the ignition style of uh, the start to uh, workout. Some might just literally call it the open set. Whichever terminology you wish to use, it's there. But it's when you're at your sort of uh, maximum potential in terms of the power that you have because you've not done anything prior to. You might have done a warm up, that's fine. But in terms of lifting that sig significant weight, in terms of doing size and muscle building, whether you're doing 65 to 85%, whatever you want to work towards, or maybe a bit less, um, you rep them out and then you sort of wait. And then when you do your next rep after, say, a 90 minute rest, you have that feeling of that uh, comfort zone first until, say, the last four reps. That's when you're really starting to push the extra bit and that's what we call effective reps so your fatigue is kicking in and your muscle is really firing all the fibers to try and get those reps out that's what we mean by effective reps so i've seen on terms of programs where some people will do that to try and say aim for 20 effective reps over a number of sets that they do so they'll feel it and they know sort of give or take when it kicks in. It might be it kicks in on the last two. It could be fit three. Either way, you count them over the sets that you do. So it might take you five sets to do 20. If you wanted to do 30, it might take you obviously longer. What I did then was a similar sort of thing, but work in the shoulder. And I wanted to, sorry, it should be the chest. So it was literally just using an exercise band. And it would be, as I've got, all right, in terms of this style of thing, over the back, lying down as such, and then with my arms in, all right, it's just a case of pressing as such. And what I did was being a standard press, it was still getting the range of motion that I wanted, and it was working the main part of the chest. I did 300 reps in total, of which what I did was 100, first of all, for my first overall set. Each 100 sets, you would call it, had 10 individual sit sets. So I was trying effectively to do as many um, effective reps as possible over 300 reps in total to see how much it would kick in. So I was going right at the bottom end of my one minute reps of about uh, 65%. That's what the sort of feel of the resistance would be. So it would be doing 10 reps, and then the first 10 was like that ignition, so I didn't really feel anything. Then I'd give myself 10 seconds, and then I'd do 10 reps again, and so on until I did 100 reps. At that point, I was feeling the effective reps kicking in, and the longer I went on, the more effective reps were kicking in towards the end. I'd then take two minute rest, I'd do the 10 reps again, 10 second break, 10 second for another 100. And I did that in another two minutes. And then the final 100 was again the same sequence. And probably in that time, I racked up around about close to 50 plus reps of these effective reps. And I could properly feel it in the chest, into the arms, you name it, right? Because you're using the biceps as well as you're pushing up. Then took the same concept with the TRX. Now this bit of kit, Okay, is something you may or may not buy, it doesn't matter. You can still use a band around the door, okay, and you can just do a one arm section, all right, and therefore you can sort of try and tailor it by changing the height of your arms. Now, with the TRX, I was just doing this again, almost like an incline. But what I try and do is target, not just the top, but I just then, so it's on and it fly, flies, so the incline flies, and I would be going pretty much to a crucifix style position, and then just repping straight back up. But what I would do is try to sort of target the lower end as well as the top, and I would just adjust the height of each one, so I knew I could target the whole rep. And that again was that sequence of 100, uh, in terms of each 100 would have a 10 rep, 10 second break, 10 reps, so forth up to 100, two minute rest, and then take it there.
Again, counting up those effective reps properly feels it in your chest. It's something you can do at home. It's basic equipment. You know, you don't have to buy, spend a huge amount of money in terms of getting a resistant band. TRX equipment, yeah, okay, fine, it's a little bit more, but it's an investment, or it saves some money without going to the gym. Something to consider, so that was the 600. 300 reps of three 100s with a 10 rep, 10 second break between, two minute rest between each 100 for my sort of casual bench press. Then the last 300 was kind of like an incline fly, but moving up to decline, varying the height of my arms so I could work different parts of the chest. 600, rock and roll, sweet.